Workers' compensation can be a lifeline for people injured on the job. It can keep you afloat financially until if and when you're ready to work again. But billions of companies or dollars are actually being paid out in bogus claims, and some companies say enough is enough here. Tonight, we will take you inside one company that is fighting back and seeing results. Does this guy look like he suffers with a bad back? Watch as he helps load this truck with heavy furniture. He makes several trips up the ramp, at one point lugging a refrigerator. Julio Racinos apparently wants you to think his back is so bad he can't work at all. He's, he's claiming just recently he cannot bend, stoop, squat, lift anything heavy. And you're seeing all of that right there. Until a year ago, Julio worked at Guest Jeans in maintenance, but he claims a back injury left him with pain so severe and so constant he can barely stand. Well, this far outweighs any work he was ever doing at Guest Jeans. And this man who's currently under investigation also works for Guess. He claims to suffer with a bad right shoulder, the same shoulder you see him use to jack up this car. Every claim I've been assigned to thus far by Guess, I have pictures like this. Perhaps these two workers had no idea Guess would fight back when they applied for long-term disability. But with thousands at stake, Guess called in Ted Kerner, a private investigator who exposes people suspected of cheating the system. We're sending a message. We're sending a strong message. Kevin Saucier heads up the safety program for Guess Jeans. Fact is, they believe so strongly about their safety record and tough policy on fraud, they opened their new L.A. manufacturing plant to our television cameras for the very first time. Guess employs about 1,000 workers here. They say in six years they've reduced the workers' comp claims from 250 to 33. In 1991 and 1992, we spent about $1.9 million on workers' comp. We've reduced it down to 200,000. If you're going to exaggerate your injury or file a fraudulent workers' comp claim, we're going to get you. We caught up with Julio sanding floors. He was fired from Guess last fall and has since filed a claim. We asked him about his bad back. And the doctor say, hey, you're ready, go to work, to regular work. Why? My back makes too much pain. Now, I contact Julio's attorney who has not yet seen the videotape and had no comment. Guess, though, says it will prosecute anyone suspected of insurance fraud. If you know someone who you suspect is cheating the system, because remember, as a taxpayer, you too foot the bill, call the insurance fraud hotline, toll free, the number you see on the screen there, Area code 800 795 4451. Paul? Beach mm. lugger, football hero. Want to know why you're paying more for insurance? You could blame these guys. Watch what happens when Extra goes after suspected workers' comp cheats. Want to see if we can get a quick word with you? This video of the day. An undercover camera records a firefighter frolicking in the surf, a wrestler in a body slam. And yet another hidden camera captures a golfer on the tee, never realizing he's being watched. But why are these weekend athletes under surveillance? Well, it's because each one claims they cannot work because of on-the-job injuries. And all were collecting workers' compensation benefits. Fraud is a big problem. Experts say one in ten workers' comp claims is bogus. Now meet Gary Moret of Ventura County, California. He's coaching a peewee football team, tackling a player, running for a pass, moving obviously with ease. But this truck driver claims he cannot work. He can barely walk because of debilitating back and neck pain from a job-related injury. For almost three months, he's collected $400 a week in workman's comp payments, tax-free. We conducted surveillance of him day after day. During a time where he was telling the doctors that he's suffering from severe neck pain, back pain, leg pain, we find this guy playing tackle football. Private investigator Ted Kerner followed Moret for Pan American Underwriters. That's the insurance company paying the workman's comp claim. But Kerner couldn't believe his eyes when he secretly videotaped the allegedly injured Moret moving with such ease. Thomas Gahn, the injury specialist who diagnosed Moret for Pan American, was also surprised by the videotape. You almost feel like you've been duped um, to have somebody who acts one way in the exam and speaks very well for themselves, and then on, an, on this tape, you see something so dramatically different. Moret reported that he was in severe pain, and after an examination, the doctors believed him. Though Gahn was shocked by Moret's behavior, he was also, in a way, thankful. 
We would never have seen this had somebody not provided this to us. We would have seen this. This could have gone on much longer. But the DA's office put a stop to that. They saw the tape, investigated Moret's claim, and decided to arrest him for fraud. Extra has obtained exclusive footage as investigators swoop in. Early in the morning, they approach Moret's home. They ask him to step outside. Then they handcuff him right in front of his neighbors and haul him away. According to court documents obtained by Extra, Moret is charged with two counts of felony insurance fraud and is now free on $5,000 bail awaiting trial. But we wanted some answers, so I went to Moret's home. Not surprisingly, the truck driver would not get out of his car. And he clammed up, wouldn't comment at all. In fact, all he did was hand me his lawyer's business card through a slightly rolled down window. Any chance just a quick word or two to even say, you know, I can't talk to you've been told not to? That's right. Moret's lawyer also had no comment. But the stakes in this are very high. Insurance fraud is a felony. And District Attorney Robert Myers told us, Someone who cheats in workers' compensation fraud can face five years in state prison. So if you're thinking of defrauding the system, be warned. Cameras, cops, and private investigators are out there watching, waiting, and looking for you. Moret is being arraigned this Friday the 13th on two counts of insurance fraud. Thank you, Trent. Most of us think of firefighters as heroes, people who risk their lives to save others. But this story is about a firefighter, some accused of trying to cheat taxpayers out of hundreds of thousands of dollars. It's a case of workman's comp and a private eye who tailed that firefighter for weeks all the way to Hawaii to get the evidence he needed. Does this guy look like he suffers with a bad back? Watch as he picks up three suitcases. Later, he lifts his daughter over his head, then plays roughly at the beach. 33-year-old Daniel Farney, a 12-year veteran with the Oceanside Fire Department, apparently wants you to believe his back injury is so debilitating he can't even work a desk job. Running in deep sand. This is not a move you do on purpose, holding your arms up if your back has been hurting. Perhaps Farney had no idea the city would fight back when he applied for permanent disability. But with so much money at stake, 50% of his salary for life or roughly six to seven hundred thousand dollars the city his turned to is Ted Turner his, is his specialty is insurance fraud he followed Farney to Hawaii videotaping his every move getting close enough to even overhear a startling admission he said to a whole table full of people I guess when we get back dear it'll be time for me to start having back pain again after hearing that and seeing these pictures the, the city of Oceanside uh, fired here. Daniel Farney in September right now he is appealing that decision the man is a third-year law student. He knows he's committing a crime by exaggerating a claim of disability against his employer. That's a felony in California. Kerner says he exposes people who cheat the system, but for every one he catches, thousands slip through the cracks. This in this case, a friend case heard Daniel Farney back. bragging <laughs> and tipped Kerner to the case. That tipster talked to Channel 4, but wants to remain anonymous. Right now he's going to school to be an attorney. And I think that is his, his goal, is to become one and um, maybe get it financed through a workman's contract. Now, we contacted Farney's attorney, who had no comment about the videotape or anything else re revolving around this case. The state is now investigating possible criminal charges for insurance fraud. If you know someone who you believe is cheating the system, because remember, as a taxpayer, you foot the bill. Call this insurance fraud hotline toll-free. The number you see on the screen, 800-795-4451. Former Oceanside firefighter accused of faking a back injury to collect workers' compensation says he's not guilty. Daniel Farney entered the plea today to felony charges of insurance fraud and perjury. If convicted, he faces up to five years in prison. Farney was arrested last week after being questioned about a videotape taken during a vacation in Hawaii last May. The tape shows Farney lifting heavy luggage, swimming, and carrying his daughter. He would told the department he injured his back on the job and he couldn't do even light duty. The private investigator who shot the tape says people like Farney cost taxpayers billions of dollars each year. It's estimated by the Department of Insurance that workers' comp fraud is the number one type of insurance fraud, 
and is estimated to be worth at least $10 billion a year. That's $10,000 million a year going out tax-free to people that don't deserve it. The city of Oceanside fired Farney in September after seeing the videotape. Today, Farney's lawyer says he'll try to get reinstated. is likely to make every honest, hard-working American angry. It's about people caught on tape trying to beat the system and cheat their bosses out of good money. Why should you care? Because as Phil Schumann discovered, you wind up paying their bills. He sure looks like he's having a good time. Edward Mendez at the carnival riding the hurricane, the octopus. Hard to believe he's in such severe pain that he can no longer work. But that's what investigators say Mendez is claiming, that he hurt his back on the job and deserves a monthly tax-free insurance check called workers' compensation. This man's also filed a workers' comp claim, Andrew Enriquez. Look at him hobble painfully into the doctor's office on crutches. He has a lot of trouble. In fact, he says as a result of falling off a loading dock, he's had 11 different injuries that prevent him from doing his job as a truck driver. But take a look at this. Minutes after leaving the doctor's office, the crutches are gone. Andrew Enriquez seems just fine. I'm surprised at how people think we're not going to be watching. It was private investigator Ted Kerner, hired after Enriquez and Mendez's employer got suspicious of their supposed injuries, who caught them on tape using an ordinary home video camera like this one and sitting in his car outside the target's home, following them around town, sometimes for days. He waits for them to make a mistake. In the case of Enriquez, take a look at this. Does he seem disabled to you? We uh, observed him for three straight days moving his entire house. Treadmill, console TV, all the furniture, all the dressers, uh, butcher block tables, the couches, up and down off the roof of his van time and time again. And he was supposedly so disabled that he could not sit and drive a truck. Extras already reported on how Ted helped expose firefighter Daniel Farney, supposedly disabled, frolicking on the beach in Hawaii. Or this woman, too hurt to work, she said, jumping around as a part-time clown. Or this wrestler in blue tights, supposedly a disabled construction worker, rolling around the ring. Why should the public care? Why do people need to get involved? Because it's costing them on every single thing they do all day long. The price of your house, your car, your clothes, your food has the cost of insurance built into it, and the insurance costs are too high. Gene Shelton would agree with that. Both Mendez and Enriquez worked for him. People have been stealing from day one, and they continue in different forms. A fraudulent claim is one of those forms. Well, remember our friend Mr. Mendez enjoying himself at the carnival? Here's a more somber picture, Mendez being arrested. When confronted by his bosses with this very tape, he dropped his disability claim and later pled guilty. As for Andrew Enriquez, our moving man, he was arrested too. However, he was later released without prosecution, though his disability payments, which had begun, were stopped. He's appealing that decision. The case is still tied up in the court system. When we went to ask him about it, we didn't exactly get a warm welcome. That was Enriquez shouting at me from his truck when I tried to question him. We backed off. He went inside, locked the door. That was the last we saw or heard of him. Andrew! Come on. We want to uh, see if you can hear your side of the story here. Andrew? I can't believe that. Did he ever come out and give you his side of the story? No, he never did. And from what I understand, that despite what our videotape shows, he's still claiming that he is disabled and cannot work. Unbelievable. Thing. He soon be a familiar.